hello. <clears throat> this is where I like to sit and talk, apparently, so we're just gonna keep doing it. <gasps> Micha's on the move. I got my trusty book, so don't forget my train of thought I also covered in my own hair. So, I'm coming at you today from my backyard, p -p -p from my backyard for some streamer tips. Streamer tips! Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna uh, preface this by saying I've been on the website for a while, but this is by no means a streamer bible. You don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. If you don't like what I have to say, then just ignore it. Whatever. <laughs> but, let's just get right into it. This is just kind of, this is going to be a little bit of just for streamers in general. And for new streamers. It's just going to be a mix of both things. Because, hell yes. So, apparently I'm just going to be over here today because this is comfortable. Rule number one which I think is probably the most important if you want to grow your channel and be successful on the website is to network. Seriously, 110%. Networking is always key. Networking is hella key because you've got to make friends. Like honestly, if you don't make friends, Twitch is a lonely place. Making friends with people helps like mesh communities. Meshing communities is awesome. And friends are amazing. I've met some of my best friends on this website. And I honestly think it's like, I honestly think it's one of the best things that's happened to me is meeting a lot of these people. So honestly, network, 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 networking, making friends in other chats, not only gets you a, like a community elsewhere, but it helps bring your communities together for you and it's awesome it's a win-win you get friends you grow it's amazing I think it's one of the best things ever um, and I think this kind of segues into another point like when you do have that community or even before you do really I've seen this happen before after I've seen it happen all over the place Engage with your chat, please, for the love of all that is holy and just on this earth. Engage with your chat, talk to them, make friends with your viewers, because if you don't and you ignore them, they will not come back. They will leave and not care about you. Please stop trying to turn ghost book. I'm serious. Like, if I go to a stream, which has happened, this is factual evidence. If you go to a stream uh, and you aren't, and you, I'm like, this ghost book is really pissing me off. Um, the, and you say hi to the streamer and ask how they're doing and they don't respond and they ignore your message, I peace out. I give them a few minutes to answer, they don't, and I leave. Goodbye. Because honestly, I think, in my opinion, this isn't the same for everyone because I know there's a lot of bigger streamers that can't engage with their chat, which is 100% understandable. If you have like thousands of viewers, that's ridiculous. I know a lot of people that still try their very best to do that by like engaging with donations because there's so many people watching that you have to like donate to actually get a message through, which I mean, I get it. If you have like 2,000 people in the chat and they're all trying to talk to you, you're never ever going to be able to keep up with that and do whatever you're doing. But yeah, bottom line, engage with your chat, build relationships, and people will come back. Basically it. Even if you have no viewers, just talk, talk through what you're doing. If people go into your stream and you're just silent because there's no one there, which I get it's hard to talk to yourself if you're not used to it. I grew up an only child, so I always talk to myself. The point of Twitch for me is talking to people. If I don't want to talk to people and I don't want to engage with a streamer, I go to YouTube. Because YouTube, that's not a possibility unless they're live streaming, but blah blah blah, you know what I mean. Honestly, I think 
Twitch is amazing for communities and having a relationship with the streamer you're watching, and that is so important to me. And I love that. And I want that if I'm watching someone. Ta da! Then. The next item on the docket is to have proper branding. This also goes hand in hand with having emotes. In my opinion, which I know this is a very common opinion, if you don't have like proper branding, like a proper header, a proper profile picture, and this is like kind of extra, but also if you don't have proper panels below your stream, there is a red spider on my book. If you don't have proper panels below also, it's just gonna look unfinished. You know, I think it's very, very important to have a personalized channel. So people will kind of get a feel of your personality from it, and it'll just look like you care. It's not hard to do it. You can do it yourself if you want to. You can do it in Microsoft Paint, even though it might not look... Please focus on me and not the trees in the background. Thank you. It might not look as professional as you'd like, but if you want to go more professional, you don't want to make it yourself, I swear to God, if you keep focusing on those trees, I will end your suffering. Honestly, there are so many artists out there that do branding, do emotes and everything, like myself. My commissions are always open. <laughs> but seriously, if you don't want to make it yourself, you don't feel comfortable in your skills, you can always pay someone to do it for you. And I'm sure they'd be glad to, because money, and fun times, and... It'll just, it's a win-win. They get work, you get a dope-ass freaking channel that you can show off the R2 to all of your viewers and friends and whatever and anyone you want to see. You'll be like, look at this shit. Look what I have had made. And then you can do that. And the emote part, I think, is very important to give back to your... Um, to give back to your viewers and subscribers because um, people are more likely to subscribe to you if you have emotes. That's just a fact. It's just a fact of life. It's what happens. People, like humans, as, as they are, are more likely to support someone if they get something back, which is completely understandable. Some people are super generous and amazing, and I get that that's amazing and fantastic. But if you want to be able to increase that sub number, you gotta get some emails. You gotta give them something back to use around the website. Because not only are they more likely to subscribe to you, but maybe they'll use them in other channels. And then people will be like, yo, that's a dope email. Where'd you get that? And then, ba boom, you'll get some more subs from some dope emotes. And again, if you don't want to make them yourself, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of artists around that are amazing at Twitch emotes. Just if you look at Twitter for like five minutes, you'll find at least three. I promise. <laughs> Next one is play what you want to a certain degree. There is a fine balance on this website for like of being able to play what you want and growing. There is a, like some overlap sometimes, but not always. So, <clears throat> for me, I think you gotta play popular games if you wanna grow. Games that have a lot of nostalgia value for a lot of people, like beloved games, even though sometimes when you play a beloved game, the community that comes along with it may be slightly toxic, or back CD or whatever, so you gotta pick your battles, really. <laughs> um, Honestly, oversaturation, if you have no community, is a bad idea. Like, if you're just starting out and you want to play Fortnite, you're not gonna... You're, it's like winning the lottery. If you have zero viewers and you're in Fortnite, you are at the bottom of the list of the most saturated game on the website. There are the most people watching that game on the website basically any time. Sometimes there's some indie games that are like... <clears throat> or whatever, or some events, like AGDQ, whatever the hell, will be above it, but that's very rare. Those don't happen very often, so it's not a good idea for you. Um, honestly, if you want to play that, if you have a couple viewers, go ahead. If you want, you know what? Do whatever you want, seriously. 
I'm just saying, if you want to grow, that is not the best avenue for you. And I don't know why I did this. Oh, God. <laughs> but play something that you like to play. Don't force yourself to play something popular if you don't like it. Because if you're not having fun, people will notice you're not having fun. And that's not fun. It, I feel like people notice when you're having fun. And they will be more receptible to you if you're enjoying yourself and having a good time. They will also enjoy themselves and have a good time. Because the game is not everything. The game is half of it, half of any, like, let's play or anything like that. Because the personality matters. Unless they're very good at the game, then not so much. But if you're just casually playing through a game and people are coming to watch you, you gotta have, like, a personality there. Also, I'm, like, really fucking going off topic here. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna move on, because I could ramble about that forever. <laughs> Number whatever. Don't be a dick. Do not. Do not be a dick. You don't make friends being a negative Nancy. Don't be a negative Nancy. Be nice to people. Be nice to your viewers. Unless you have, for some reason, some unwritten rule of roasting people all the time and everyone loves it. I have not seen that. Unless you're, like, friends for a while and you can roast the shit out of each other, then be my guest. But for me personally, I think being a positive and happy, nice person gets you way more viewers. And it's like... My philosophy is you get back what you put out in the world. So I, like to try to be as positive as possible, as happy and nice as possible, because those vibes, if you expel those vibes, not only is it going to brighten other people's days and make their days um, less crappy if they're having a bad day, but those vibes will come back to you. You just... Karma, really. I know a lot of people are like, karma doesn't exist. It does. I don't care what you say. Karma is real, and you gotta just be nice to people. Just... It, just feels so nice to be nice. I don't understand how people can have so much resentment and anger and, and just grumpiness inside them that they have to just be a wiener. Like, if you go around being a jerk to someone, you're not going to be able to get or someone to people. You're not going to be able to get the opportunities that the nice people do. Like, <laughs> if you're just being a toxic human being, people are going to remember you as a toxic human being. And people don't want to share toxic human beings with the world. That's just not the way it goes. So just be nice. Just be nice. You will be remembered as an awesome person. And that's the most important thing. Is just... Just be nice, okay? <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to end off just because this video is getting a little long. Whew. Um, I'll probably do more of these where I'll ramble about other topics. So... Um, but I have, the last thing I think is the most important is be proud of your achievements. I'm sorry about the plane. I don't know what's happening. It needs to go away. <gasps> Me, Joe. Can I sniff the camera? There's my cat's literally right there. Oh, hello, baby. <laughs> Anyways, be proud of your achievements. Seriously. I know there's this weird stigma that seems to be, like, happening of thinking people are self-obsessed or anything if they're celebrating their own achievements, but that's just a crock of BS. I think that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. I think if you can't be proud of your achievements, it's not worth doing them. Like, live life for you. Live life to make yourself happy if you have goals and you work your balls off to achieve those goals and you hit them you're goddamn right you deserve to tweet about it are you kidding me it's a goddamn tweet if you don't like it you can scroll past i personally will just smash that like button because honestly if you have worked your ass off to achieve a sub goal a follow goal a amount of time streamed in a month goal, anything like that, if you have done something that you are proud of, you deserve to share that. That's like good vibes. That is good vibes. Even if it's at yourself, Jesus, man, just 
talk about it. It makes you happier. It makes other people happier. Even if for some reason some people are like, nah. No, who cares? Who cares what any person thinks that is not proud of you? I'm proud of you. I will always be proud of you. They can get the f out. I will be proud of you. You will have so many other people that are proud of you for what you've done. And I think if you are proud of your own achievements, you are way more likely to just get your ass in gear and keep on trucking for those next goals that you have. And the more you can appreciate yourself for getting those goals done, the more likely you'll be to succeed in the future. And I think that's very important. And I think it's not worth worrying about what other people think if it's what makes you happy. And that's just, that's just my philosophy in life in general. Do what makes you happy and don't care what other people think. If you care about what other people think on Twitch, you're going to have a bad time. There are a lot of bad people on Twitch. Not a lot, but they're vocal, you know? There's a lot of trolls on Twitch. There's a lot of everything on Twitch. And it's just a rough time. Jesus Christ, that was scary. <laughs> um, God, that just took me right out of that. Oh, I'm sorry, one second. <laughs> Ignore the trolls. They don't mean shit. Be happy, be positive, spread the good vibes, be proud of yourself, keep trucking along to your goals. But the troll comment brings me to special announcement. <laughs> yes. So, I got a little announcement for y'all. I am setting up a little group of people, not, not even necessarily streamers, just anyone on Twitch. I'm going to be, well, I already have. It's already growing and it's waiting to strike. <laughs> Um, we're doing a thing called Positivity Raids, and, um, I know I brought this up and a couple people were like, isn't that what you do at the end of your streams anyways? It's like, no, no, Positivity Raids are not normal Twitch raids, they're offline, so it's just basically sending a bunch of you lovely, lovely people to a streamer that's random, I'll have to look for one and then be like, and then we're gonna go in and just give them compliments, it's not gonna all be the same message, everyone is going to... Just bring good vibes and positivity, not even compliments. It's gonna be like, just go for your goals, achieve your goals. You can do it, I believe in you, I love you. And just stuff like that. And just go on to a random streamer and just be like, hell yes, hell yes. We are going to give you all the love and just try to make someone's day. There are so many people, I've had it happen to me multiple times where there's groups of trolls that come in and try to ruin your day. And that's BS. We need more people that are doing some positive, nice stuff. And we gotta just bring out the good in Twitch. And I know there's probably other people doing this, but I don't care, I wanna do it too. I have a little, I have a channel in my Discord that's just Positivity Raids. Um, I have my own goal, like my own role there for the people who wanna be involved in it. I'm gonna leave the link to my Discord below if you guys wanna join. Um, and you want to be involved in the positivity raids, um, I have it just leave a message in the positivity raids channel and um, I will give you the role because I will be adding just that role so I don't ping the whole discord about when we have a raid target. Um, I'll probably I'll be doing it on my days off most likely which will be Wednesdays and possibly weekends depending on if I I'm in town and not, and like, and have a solid internet connection, which I don't always, but I'm hoping to get that started and it's gonna be so much fun and I hope you guys join me with it. It's gonna be amazing. I love you all so very much and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I love you all so much. I don't know when I will be making another video, but I'll see you soon.